And I really have come here to share my experiences. That is very, very important. All of you are aspiring for higher education and have already traveled that path. I have been there and done it. As already introduced, I did my bachelor's at Carnegie Mellon University. I worked at the World Bank for two years and I did my stand MBA from Stanford. I inevitably host admissions events for Stanford MBA in Hyderabad. And I get asked this question, what have you learned? Why Stanford? And I kept thinking about it more and more and what I gained out of international education. You know, there are two things that substantially improve our per capita income. As sir has said, one is immigration, second is education. But one thing that I think all of us are missing is the value system. One thing that fundamentally changed me as a human being was first time when I had exams at Stanford, it was our finals, we are in the quarter system. So the first final exams I remember, we have not this big classroom, but about quarter of this size. And it was fascinating to see the professor come, leave the exam papers on the table and leave. And I didn't understand, I was looking around, like, what is going on? So all of us had to go pick up a paper, come, sit in your place and write the exam. There was no invigilator. There was no invigilator. That fundamentally transformed me. An institution of global standard is trusting its students to hold the institution for higher ethical, moral order. And that fundamentally comes from. So as all of you go globally to other states, I think what is important is to learn the value system and the values that different institutions actually give. As WIT has its own culture, other global repute organizations have their own culture. So it's important to understand which institution actually fits into the culture that you aspire to be in and you will try. So I request all the students to definitely pay attention to that. See, we honestly live in a very exciting time. Today, if you look globally, majority of the tech companies are being led by Indians. Microsoft, Adobe, Google, the Vice Chairman of Bank of America happens to be a terrible person. So if you look at it all, majority of the global institutions, if not number one, at least at number two today, we see Indians. And the reason for that is the reforms that India has taken in the 80s and in the 90s. You know, it is Mr. Naidu who opened up the entire IT sector in Hyderabad. Today, the modern cyberbath is this baby. And because of that one initiative, globally, I'm proud to say that 20% of the IT workforce comes from the two Telugu speaking states. <laughs> While I'm proud of that fact, I'm also worried that we're losing all our bright minds to the rest of the world. So, like how I have taken the road less traveled. Getting a global MBA, I came back to politics and I did a walk the talk and I rediscovered our nation and my own state. So I request all of you to seriously think about your purpose. You know, in one of the MBA applications, I had this question, what matters to you most and why? I'll repeat that again. What matters to you most and why? In fact, I answered this question if I'm right in 2005. In 2005, November, that's when I applied. Even till today, my answer to, to that question drives me. Whenever I feel down, whenever I feel dejected, upset, disappointed in myself, in the system, I actually go back and refer to that answer. And that 
gives me again my heading. So it's very important for all of you to really rediscover, understand what your true calling is. Now next 25 years is India's 25 years. We have amazing demographic dividends. And we are living in very inspiring times. 80% of the jobs that are going to get created in the next 5 years are in sectors we are yet to discover. In fact, I am 41 years old. Even today, when I go back to the US, I just came back from my trip, I really rediscovered that there is so much new happening in technology. There is so much of innovation happening. And I have committed to myself that every 6 months I will go back, spend at least 2 days, Meet up with everyone and understand where the world is going. What's happening in Europe? What's happening in Southeast Asia? I really want to understand. So I think it's very important that all of us open our minds. We should not think about our big bubble. We should not think about Amravati bubble or Andhra bubble or India bubble. We have to open our eyes to what's happening around us locally. Because it's very, very exciting times and inspiring times. And the uh, next 25 years is India's 25 years. So while all of us go get a global education, the real action is going to be in India. And it's very important that all of us actually come back and be part of India's growth story. As far as Andhra Pradesh is considered, as part of the Honorable Prime Minister's vision, Vikasit Bharat, we have come up with Vikasit Andhra Pradesh where by 2047 we want to be a 2 trillion dollar economy. And we want to have the highest per capita income in India. And yes sir, GR ratio is a key performance indicator that the Honorable Chief Minister has given me. So we are tracking that closely. CM is very clear that our students should definitely go for higher education. From 10th grade, we want to monitor dropouts, we want to motivate them, we want to get them into the formal education system, and that is a focus area for us. You know, as education minister, I keep getting asked this question. Should we spend more money? And I keep thinking about this. We already have the key building blocks as a nation. But I, I truly believe our approach to the system is not right. We are focused on outputs and not outcomes. Outputs is our attendance. Outputs is a, whether we have come to exams or not. But outcomes is how far have we learned. And that is something I am personally trying to chase and bring about in the entire government education system. Today, I would like to announce, sir, in five years, you will see Andhra school education as one of the best in the nation. <laughs> this government is committed to school education. That is why Mr. Naidu gave a Stanford MBA to the Human Research Development Ministry. <laughs> to all the students here, a life lesson. You know, Life is all about a journey. It is not about a destination. You are going to have amazing highs and you will have amazing lows. You will have a good days, you will have great days, you will absolutely have bad days and worse days. It's very, very important to take both in the same spine. 